The moment that we have gotten to is very crucial. And I'll be glad if you would limit even the movements in the atmosphere. The Spirit of God is moving in the atmosphere right now. Paul said that I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live. But Christ lives in me. And the life that I live now in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Isaiah heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And he was able to present himself saying, Here am I, Lord, send me. God is calling you. He wants to have a relationship with you. God is calling you. He wants to send you out to the nations. Will you be able to willingly say, Lord, here am I, send me? Are you willing to answer that call? Lift up your hands and worship. Here's the voice of the Spirit. He's calling you right now. Let this be your pledge. When you call me, when you call me. When you call me.
and the pride of life. It is not of the Father. And the world passeth away and the last thereof. But whoever doeth the will of the Father will abide forever. Jesus is calling you. Wherever you are watching us from, wherever you are hearing, wherever you are standing in this atmosphere, Jesus wants you to be his own. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anybody shall open, I will come in and I will dine with you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. You don't need to perish, child of God. Ask yourself, what kind of life am I living? Am I living for God or am I living for myself? Wherever you are, you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life. I want you to lift up your right hand as a sign of, of, of surrender. Wherever you are hearing my voice, wherever you are watching, if you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, raise your right hand. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. He loves us so much that while we were yet sinners, He died for us. The end is coming and the end is near. He says, as the days of Noah, so shall the end be. They were drinking and they were marrying and being given to marriage until Noah entered the ark. And the ark was closed. Then the rains came and destroyed them. Jesus is that ark. He is calling you to make him the Lord of your life. Now if you want to make him the Lord of your life, lift up your right hand. Say this after me. And I want you to pray this prayer in faith. This is not a religious prayer. I want you to pray this prayer in faith after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I know and I believe that you died on the cross because of my sins. Cleanse me with your blood. Come into my heart and make me yours. I boldly confess that you are my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. I thank you for saving me, Jesus. Congratulations if you prayed that prayer. Congratulations, you are born again. You need to find a Bible-believing church. Where you will be taught the word of God, where you will grow in the things of God. Your life will never be the same again as you have made this decision. God is going to bless and touch you. Now I want you to make this confession. You want to say, Lord, I am yours. You want to say, Lord, I am yours. Are you ready? Now make this confession. Yeah. Yeah.